And now, your first alert weather. All right, grab a honey bun, get a little closer to the TV. I'll keep you warm here for the next three minutes. Uh, look at that gorgeous sunshine. It's just radiant, all right? And we will continue to have some more of that as we look over the Motor View Drive-In, where they've been doing a great job in Idaho Falls of hosting graduation ceremonies for District 91 and Rigby. Bonneville High School will be there tonight, I believe, at about 930. And then they're going to start showing movies. I think Goonies is going to be on the big screen. So great family social distancing outings for everybody. And that sun will warm us up today into the 80s. By the way, I'm really glad to be here. It's my first day on the morning show and they brought flowers and gifts and you know, presents. Uh, it's just so good to be in the uh, you know, the confines of the TV station with the morning crew. 50 right now in Idaho Falls. It will be sunny today, and we got a breeze out of the northwest at about 5. That's going to shift to the southwest, going to pick up 15 to 25 miles an hour, and gusty at times. It may be around 35. We've got temps in the 40s and 50s. There's a 39 on the map in West Yellowstone, 47 currently in Driggs, and Jackson's at 44, ever 11 degrees. It's 52 in Soda as you get started, 54 in Ketchum. Them. And we've got a pair, well, actually a 46 in Stanley and a pair of fives in Chalice. So we're right there between 50 and 55 degrees to start. We've dipped down just a little bit this morning to around 49. We're going to warm up to lunchtime into the 70s and then the 80s by the afternoon. The winds right now between 5 and 10 miles an hour, 13 in Dubois. Today's forecast has us with mainly sun and 54 by about 8 o'clock. Uh, the noontime temp will be around 73 and it'll be 83 degrees this afternoon when we peak at about 4 and mostly sunshine. Now the mountains, the central Idaho mountains, salmon, we've got a little bit of a shower chance in there for you for the latter half of the day and as things heat up this afternoon you'll start to see the breezes. There's that shower chance on the Vipercast later tonight and then the next few days looks like a pretty fair weather uh, compilation there. We see some late storms on Tuesday day for the higher elevations and we'll keep that in mind as we show you our eight day coming up. Temperatures today from the upper 70s to around 82 in McCammon. It'll be 84 in Malad and Preston and 81 degrees in Montpelier. I think you're going to like the sunshine and enjoy it. Kids are out of school. It's June the 1st and it's also Boomer Appreciation Day. So if you see a baby boomer, uh, give them a big uh, virtual high five and tell them thanks for, for showing up because they're part of a big generation. Uh, those are my parents. 72 in Old Faithful Country this afternoon. It'll be 76 in Island Park. It'll be 80 in Yellowstone later on this afternoon. We'll hit the lower 80s for Dubois, St. Anthony, and Rexburg. Overnight lows will be in the 50s, which is a little warmer than normal for this time of the year. Average afternoon highs are right there around 71, 72 degrees. So we're above normal. We're going to get into the 70s tomorrow, but today for Chalice, it'll be 81. They'll see 77 in Salmon with overnight lows in the upper 40s. Your extended forecast, take a peek at this, all right, because this is the big weather where I get to show you everything. Afternoon highs in the Snake River Plain will be in the 80s, and then we're going to uh, we're going to see a continued stretch of good temperatures here all the way through the week. This is Idaho Falls. It'll be 83 today, mostly sunny, 54 tomorrow morning early and then 78 tomorrow. We don't bring in a really heavy chance of any kind of shower activity until Saturday for uh, Idaho Falls. It'll be 73 as we kick into the weekend. Here's Pocatello 85 today. Then we dip a little bit tomorrow and we'll keep temperatures on the rise for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. It'll be closer to 90 and they're about 75 for Saturday with a 60% chance of seeing some storms. Blackfoot 82 today. We'll take a dip tomorrow and then we'll be back on the rise toward 90 by Friday. Afternoon highs for the weekend will take us back into the 70s, if not below 70, with a pretty good chance of seeing some thunder bumpers around here. Rexburg, it'll be 82 tomorrow in sunshine. We're going to march back toward 90 degrees by Friday and a risk of storms on Saturday. And your forecast is always online, always on our app as well, and closer to 80 degrees for salmon with just that brief shower chance like we talked about on Vipercast for salmon a 20% chance with a cloud buildup and we're back into the 80s by midweek. Jackson will be 82 today and then we'll sprinkle some shower chances in here but looks like Saturday and Sunday next weekend will be a big cool off with another system and I'm really glad I'm here in the morning. By the way when you get in your car this morning you can turn on the radio and uh, we've got a big old microphone here in the studio, so I'll be on the air on 99 KUPI every morning as well. So I'm working like a barred mule up in here, Dan. I appreciate you Aww. negotiating that contract. That's good. Caitlin, we, I appreciate the honey buns this morning, too. That was delicious. <laughs> it's okay, Jeff. They're coming out of your paycheck. I hope you know. <laughs>